Thanks for watching my update on the boring company at Proofrock 3 at Giga Texas. I have some new information and updates about the boring company Proofrock 3's operation at Giga Texas. You can see by this post that they recently used something called the monster inside Giga Texas to pick up the Proofrock 3 and take it out of Giga Texas and move it off site. And I flew around yesterday, the 13th of June, trying to find the Proofrock 3, and it is not on the west side of the highway, and I learned later that there is a change in the plans. Now, this image here shows you one of the operators working on the monster, getting the Proofrock 3 picked up and uh, uh, getting ready for transportation after finishing the tunnel. This great image here shows you the Proofrock 3 mounted up onto that device called the monster. And it's basically a large platform with hydraulic jacks that tilts, allows the Proofrock 3 to ride up onto it, and then it prepares for transportation using a SPMT or self-propelled modular transporter. This image here gives you a really good close-up view of how this looks and as it was just picked up and placed onto that monster getting ready for that SPMT to drive underneath it. And here you can clearly see how those hydraulic jacks work to pick up the monster with the Proofrock 3 on top and allow that SPMT to come in underneath. This makes it extremely simple for them to remove the Proofrock 3 after finishing the tunnel in enclosed spaces such as here at Giga Texas's extension or future projects such as hotels, stadiums, or other areas where they have restricted space. Now, as you may recall in my part two of my Boring Company discussion video set, I talked a lot about some of the innovations that the Boring Company was trying to introduce to help improve the speed and operation of the tunnel boring machines. And the use of the monster here is exactly what I had talked about. So let's review here some of what we had discussed in that video. In that video, I showed you how the boring company uses something called the porpoising technique of making the tunnels. And they bring in the items, as you can see in the upper right, at number one. Number two, they get it set up with the thrust ring and a small excavation so that the tunnel can begin diggling into the ground, kind of like a porpoise going underwater. It completes the tunnel under the structure of the road or wherever they're going underneath, and then it resurfaces again, porpoising out of the ground, it comes out as an angle, and then once the tunnel is completed, then they pick up the Proofrock 3. This is the example of how the tunnel operations began here at Giga Texas, and you can see that thrust ring, the Proofrock 3, in that very small inclined pit getting ready to do the boring. And this is a pretty much in the opposite of how it looked when it came out of the extension at Giga Texas. Now, in the past, they have used dirt ramps, such as you see here with Proofrock 2 over at Las Vegas, making the Las Vegas loop. And the goal is to eliminate the dirt ramps, improve the efficiency, the speed, and also reduce the complexity of removing the tunnel boring machine. So instead of using these dirt ramps, one of the things that they wanted to innovate is some sort of a device which has become the monster, which is side of a platform that has those hydraulic rams that's able to tilt, just pick up the Proofrock 3 as it exits, loads it up onto a truck, and then be able to drive away. And that's exactly what we saw here at Giga Texas. And this is actually sort of the proof of that technology and one of those innovations that they are continuing to try to add to the Proofrock 3, Proofrock 4, and future Proofrock tunneling machines. So with these images, you can tell that the Proofrock 3 has been transported out from the extension using that monster, the SPMT. It traveled along River Road on the south end. It crossed under the South Bridge and proceeded further on the west on River Road. And as I learned at the shareholders meeting, talking to some Boring Company employees, a change in the plan has now made the Tunneling operations here at Giga Texas complete, at least for the foreseeable futures, which means that we're only going to have the one tunnel that uh, proceeds from the west side under the highway to the extension, 
and uh, we will have to wait uh, for perhaps sometime in the future for additional tunneling operations. So the Proof Rock 3 is on its way to a, another project, and uh, they will be completing their operations here at Giga Texas. So anyway, there's some updates of what is going on here and uh, what the status is of the boring tunneling operations. Now, they still have work to finish the entry and the exit points, uh, make sure that it's ready for operation. As you also know from a recent post shown here, the Boring Company says that they have plans for the tunnel to be operational in July, which is not very far away, so something else to continue to monitor. So as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you found this informative, and take care.